Welcome back guys to another video. Today we've got some beef udon noodles. Without a doubt, this is a weeknight favourite. It takes 15 minutes to make, no joke, and it's got the most insane caramelised beef. So you're gonna need yourself a whole onion. I do love me some onion. I'm gonna slice it lengthways. By the way, this meal serves two people. Cleaning up as I go along is definitely new to me. So if you guys are on point with this, well done. We're gonna make the sauce. I think it's a little bit easier just to prep it ahead of time. So I've got two tablespoons of light soy sauce, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a tablespoon of any white vinegar, and a tablespoon of sesame oil, and give it a really good mix. I'm using 250 grams of minced beef. You want to set your pan on the stove to medium heat and add about a tablespoon of any oil you like and add in that meat. You want to break down that meat until it is very, very small in texture. I'm adding a tablespoon of some sea salt. This is not only going to add some flavor, but it'll really help bring out all of that moisture from the meat. Once all the moisture has left the meat and it's got some color, Go ahead and add that sauce. I'm adding a teaspoon of some red hot chili pepper. I promise you it doesn't bring any heat to the dish, but it does add a depth of flavor that I absolutely love. Once the moisture leaves the pan, the meat will start caramelizing. I live for this. I love it. And it means it's time to add in your onions. boiled some water but the stove is off and I'm adding my udon noodles. These are already pre-packaged and pre-cooked and all you have to do is slightly dip it in some water just to start to open them up. As soon as the noodles start to separate it's time to take them out of the water. You want to add the noodles straight in with the meat and the onions and give it a really good mix. When it comes to garlic, I'm very two minds when it comes to this dish, but I've realised that I prefer to add in minced garlic but right at the end because it's not fresh and therefore it won't be as flavourful if we were to add it at the start of the dish. We're adding in a bit of greens, I've just added a handful of spinach but you can honestly add whatever you want. You can also add veg at the beginning of the dish before we add in the noodles and once the spinach wilts away you're ready to turn off that heat and take it off the stove. It's that simple guys. I'm just jazzing it up with a little bit of sesame seeds, give it a really good mix and you're done guys. I know I say this about a lot of things, but this is one of my go-to dishes. I absolutely love it. So does Luna, constantly looking for food. What I love most about this dish, it's the fact that it's a fusion of two of my favorite things in the world, which is spaghetti bolognese and udon noodles, except it's got a Southeast Asian twist on it. And you don't have to be on the stove for hours waiting for a sauce to simmer. I love this dish. And you know what guys, it tastes even better the next day. As usual guys, I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope you guys give it a go. If you do give it a go, please do let me know. Otherwise, if you'd like this video, please do hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys later.